No, I just have a quick question in regards to leaving the prayer. So I understand, don't worry, that I'm aware that you follow the opinion that, uh, you know, if someone prays sometimes, he's not a kafir, alhamdulillah. Uh, but I just wanted to know, basically, uh, I've made a bit of research on this, and I've seen that basically throughout history there were two opinions. One opinion that was chosen by the majority of the fuqaha, that, uh, you know, by the Hanafis, the Maliki, Shafi'is, and some Hanabi, that, that you know, the one who doesn't pray at all is not a kafir but a major sinner. And then you have the other opinion, uh, which is, you know, mostly chosen by uh, the Hanabi and the, the recent contemporary scholars that uh, actually the one who doesn't pray is a disbeliever. But what I, and both parties bring their evidences, and what I've read, and correct me if I'm wrong, that the majority of those that say that leaving off the prayer is a disbeliever also say that actually the leaving off one prayer is kufur akbar. And uh, they also bring the, the evidence that I think it was Ibn Hazm who said that uh, basically there was almost uh, a, consensus, a consensus, consensus among the Sahaba that uh, leaving off one prayer uh, is Kufa Akbar and apparently this was also the opinion of Omar ibn Khattab uh, So in light of this, how do we support the opinion that actually no, the one who prays sometimes is not a kafir but a major sinner and uh, what are some of the evidences, you know, apart from uh, the difference between salah and as-salah? Yeah. Barakallahu fi. barakallah. This is a long topic, Akhi uh, Sufyan. And I was fortunate and honored about maybe 12, 13 years ago to have a, uh, um, a circle of knowledge with my brother, Dr. Abu Amina Bilal Phillips in Green Lane Masjid in Birmingham about 12, 13 years ago. And we did a sort of a debate. It wasn't a debate. It was a scholarly uh, um, uh, conversation. But it was in the masjid, in public. On this particular rule, whether a person who leaves the Salat is a kafir or not. And I think it's on my YouTube channel and elsewhere by the name of the Great Debate. So I would refer you to go there. However, in a nutshell, if Abu Hazm, uh, um, Ibn Hazm, may Allah have mercy on his soul, the Imam of the Zahiri school of thought, mentioned that the consensus of the companions is that whoever abandons one salat is a kafir, this is totally bogus. Like Imam Ahmed, may Allah have mercy on his soul, said, whoever mentions the consensus of people, then he has lied. How does he know that someone in this country or that did not differ with this consensus? So I could sit here all day long and say, oh, the consensus of Tabi'een, the consensus of X, Y, Z, without having tangible proof to back this up and there is no consensus because if there were such a consensus among the companions we wouldn't have any issue khalas alhamdulillah this is an evidence by itself but there isn't abandoning one single prayer makes you a kafir this is not true at all and the difference between the scholars is revolving around an issue which I always mention, that is theoretical and practical. On the theoretical part, yes, who does so-and-so is a kafir. On the practical part is to implement this rule on a specific individual. Ah, we have to fulfill the conditions and ensure that there are no obstacles uh, um, blocking this ruling from being implemented. And this is not possible and did not take place almost since Allah knows when. Therefore, the issue is not as simple as one plus one equals two. You have to look into the holistic way of collecting the evidences and scrutinize them and understand them as a package, not as individuals. And then you will find out the way, inshallah.